Swoop. I'm Jamie Costello. Welcome in. We have a Baltimore woman brought a nearly 50 year old cold case back into the spotlight with her true crime book. And now police say they have solved the murder of an eight year old girl. WMER 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington explains how the suspected killer was interviewed for the book. Joanna Sullivan was always haunted by the memory of that day. The day she learned a girl about her age had disappeared in their quiet suburb of Broomall, Pennsylvania. It was 1975 and Sullivan was nine years old. Her body was found two months after she disappeared. And I think for a long time, uh, people were scared, but you know, life goes on, but people never forgot. Even in her adult years, the unsolved mystery nagged at her. She reconnected with an old friend, Mike Mathis, at a high school reunion, and the pair decided to investigate. Generations of detectives tried. They kept on looking at the files. What did we miss? After combing through old paperwork and interviewing dozens of people, yeah. Sullivan and Mathis wrote a true crime book all about the murder of Gretchen Harrington. Just nine months after the book was published and 48 years after her death, police made an arrest. Reverend David Zanstra. He is every parent's worst nightmare. This is a man who is a remorseless child predator who acted as if he was a friend, a neighbor, and a man of God. Suddenly, everything clicked for Sullivan. She had interviewed Zanstra months prior, knowing he was close friends with young Gretchen's family and a pastor at her Bible camp. He seemed like he didn't really remember a lot of that morning. His wife did most of the talking and we chalked it up to age. We thought, oh, he's 82 at the time when we talked to him. Um, he doesn't remember much. But in his confession to police, he remembered everything. How he lured Gretchen into his car, drove her into the woods, and asked her to remove her clothes. When she refused, he beat her to death. All of this came to light thanks to a tipster who came forward earlier this year, telling police the pastor had molested her and she always believed he had killed Gretchen. I've been told that this definitely brought up some memories for people and perhaps prompted her to come forward. Now the author is hearing from other potential victims, people who may have narrowly avoided the same fate as eight-year-old Gretchen Harrington. Sullivan says she and Mathis are going to update the book with this new information about Zanstra's arrest. She also says this will likely not be her last time taking a look at a cold case. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.